I was thinking the other day about the history of motorcycling and I know a little bit about motorcycling culture in the United States and the longer I live in the UK the more I learn about the motorcycling culture here but I don't know much about the history of it. As it turns out about 1870 a guy named Daimler, German guy, you probably know that name from Daimler Chrysler. So Daimler invents the motorcycle Sure, there's lots of arguments about whether that's true or not. And then 1902 in England, 1902, 1903, you have Triumph establishing itself. 1916, you got BSA. Apparently by 1920, there were 500,000 registered motorcycles in the world. 1930, 1 1.5 million road deaths, automobiles and motorcycles. 4045, you have an influx of motorcycle manufacturing due to the war effort. So, pretty narrow window of development from something that was invented to something that became so prevalent, but something that kept an aura of romance and excitement and freedom. You know, the automobile has an equally narrow timeline, and there are auto enthusiasts, but I don't think the mystery or the nostalgia is quite as entrenched as it is with motorcycles. So I've heard tell of a British motorcycling museum and in my attempts to learn more about motorcycling culture in the UK, I'm on my way there now. Uh, just outside the ring of Greater London in a little bedroom community called Greenford and to look at it on the map it looks like it's nestled in between a park, a school and some council flats but I'm interested to see what they can tell me about British motorcycling. Now the thing about British anything that I found is that they kind of, I don't want to say ignore, but they ignore anything that's not British. And if there's a contribution to British culture from someplace else, they kind of gloss over that fact. So I'm open to the fact that this British Motorcycling Museum will probably only have British made motorcycles. Ignoring how American manufacturing and then developing world manufacturing affected the British motorcycling industry because really Japanese motorcycles put the British industry out of business for a generation and the ones that are now kind of cropping up again in this British motorcycling renaissance they're being manufactured in developing countries. So I'm interested to see what kind of perspective this museum offers on that 
branch of motorcycling history in England. I should say, or I should mention that in my research of British motorcycling history, in that the first British motorcycle that was ever launched to the public ran a American engine. So again, you have to you have to keep in mind the globalization of manufacturing even back to the early 20th century. You know, Harley started in 1910, I think it was. Indian 1903 ish I could be wrong, so go easy. But the Indian manufacturing company wanted to come over to England and market to England and Europe, and they had Royal Enfield out of Reddit using their Meteor as a platform for the Trailblazer. So there's always been this kind of cross cultural international exchange in motorcycling manufacturing and I want to see if that's portrayed. Here's the school. I wonder if this is the same school. There's a museum in Elmira, or not Elmira, where is it? Williamsport, New York, I think it is. Williamsport? Called the Curtis Museum. And the Curtis Museum celebrates Mr. Curtis, who was an aviator and an engineer. And he had a real hand in early American aviation engine design. The engine was used in motorcycles. I actually think he developed the motorcycle engine. There it is, museum. All right, let's spin around. I think he used, or he, he modified motorcycle engines for use in propeller airplanes. This museum's in a little town on the back little rural highway, and you wouldn't even know it was there unless you picked up one of those flyers at a local motel. And the museum is closed. Home of the Crosby Collection, London Motorcycle Museum. Closed. Huh. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get a picture, get a better picture of that. The London Motorcycle Museum. I love how the the N has fallen off the sign. Yeah, this is probably... I think this is exactly what I expected. <laughs> I'm gonna see what the hours are. Well, the British are nothing if not understated. Let's see, London Motorcycle Museum opening times. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 10 a.m. to 4.30. Adults, 12 pounds. Holy shit. Where's that money going? Or are you just trying to make up for the fact that no one comes here? I love the barbed wire on the top. It looks like a bunker you'd hide from the zombies in. They got their stickers in the window. I think 12 pounds is highway robbery, but I think on a Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, I'm probably gonna be giving my donation. Oh, 
All right, where to? If you like that video and you want to see more like them, hit like, share, and subscribe.